It's Umsum time! What if everyone started using AI? Ha <laughs> ha! AI is nothing in front of Umsum! Oh, Umsum. If everyone started using AI, employees may hand over all the work to AI. Huh? Hmm. Chess champions may completely give up. Hmm. Kids may use AI to do their homework. Mm. On construction sites, instead of laborers only, robots may be seen. Hmm. People may now start clearing their exams very easily. Hmm. Even our pets may start <laughs> using AI. Hmm. Huh? Some people may even start using AI while cooking. Hmm. Superheroes may not be needed anymore. Huh? Hmm. Thieves may start using AI robots. Hmm. Even aliens may get a new AI robot. Mm. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. What is the science behind acupressure? It's not science, dude. It's geography. Nah. <laughs> acupressure emerged from traditional Chinese medicine theory. The theory states that there are about 12 major meridians or channels in our body. Vital energy or life force called qi flows through these channels. Oh! And a block in the flow leads to discomfort, pain, or diseases. Hence, to release the blockages, practitioners apply pressure on specific acupoints present along the channels to promote healing. Ah. Although it is not proved yet, experts say that acupressure does reduce pain. How? When we eat painkillers, they stimulate specific pathways in the brain, helping reduce the pain. Ah. According to experts, the force on acupoints does the same. Ah. In addition to this, a study on rats showed that acupressure actually reduced the activity in their brain's stress pathways. So, in humans, it might work in a similar manner. However, many other experts think that it is just a placebo effect. <laughs> Why is equator hot but poles are cold? Because equator likes hot burgers and poles like cold burgers. Nah. Huh? Firstly, around the equator, sun rays hit the ground at a 90 degree angle. Hence, more solar energy falls per unit area, thus making equator ah! hot. However, near the poles, since sun rays hit the ground at a lower angle, the rays spread, causing less energy to fall per unit area thus making poles cooler. Hmm. Secondly, due to the Earth's axial tilt, poles don't receive sunlight for many months during the year, thus worsening the situation. Thirdly, as sunlight takes a long path to reach the poles, it has to deal with a greater number of atmospheric particles which result in more absorption and scattering of sunlight. Thus, less sunlight reaches the poles. Lastly, snow at the poles reflects 75-95% to 95 of sunlight, which is much more as compared to that reflected by the land around the equator. Hmm. Should we work out when we have cold? We should just chill and have milkshakes. You wish. Yes, one may work out, but for shortened duration and with reduced intensity if symptoms are above the neck, as in common cold, stuffy nose, sneezing, or jaw pain. As these symptoms are minor, one can take appropriate cold-related medicines and then put in mild exercise with proper care. Note that light or moderate physical activity may help open up the nasal passageway, thus helping us feel better. <laughs> but on the flip side, there is a chance of spreading germs or viruses to others. On the other hand, if the symptoms are below the neck, as in fever, vomiting, cough, shortness of breath, etc., then one should not exercise. Our body needs rest in this case. Hence, one should not overwork as it will make it difficult to recover and may also lead to fatigue or dizziness. What if our sun became a black hole? 
Easy peasy. I will turn the lights back on. Oh, um, some. Black holes are formed when stars, which are about 10 times the mass of our sun or higher, use up all their fuel and explode. Eventually, they collapse under the weight of their own gravity and form a black hole. Now, if our sun became a black hole, firstly, it would be less than six kilometers across. Mm. Secondly, no guesses here, everything will be pitch dark as there will be no more sunlight. Mm. Thirdly, without sunlight, life as we know it will slowly but surely wither away. Fourthly, planets in the solar system will not get sucked into the black hole though. Huh? Why? Firstly, sun will not contain more matter than it has now. Mm. Secondly, sun's position with respect to the planets will not change. Mm. What if Earth huh? lost its atmosphere? Ooh. Then I would cover it using my um sum umbrella. Ah. Wow, um sum. Sound travels to our ears by vibrating air molecules which are mm. present all around us. Now, no atmosphere means no air. Hence, there would be complete silence. Secondly, no atmosphere means no oxygen. Life on land would not last for more than five minutes. But life inside oceans might continue for some time as fishes will use dissolved oxygen to survive. Eventually, even that supply will run out. Thirdly, no atmosphere means no clouds. Our sky would lose its magnificent blue oh. color. It would look just as black as outer space. Hmm. Fourthly, unfortunately, birds ah. can't fly in a vacuum. They will drop down to Earth. Lastly, without any atmosphere, days would be shorter by four minutes, while nights longer as atmospheric refraction advances sunrise by two minutes and delays sunset by two minutes. Why are birds shrinking in size? I don't know. Maybe they should be eating more cookies. <laughs> oh, um, son. Huh? A research conducted over 40 years by collecting more than 70,000 samples <laughs> of 52 North American migratory birds clearly shows that birds are definitely decreasing in size. Hmm. The lower leg of the bird is commonly used as a measure of its body size. It was found that its length reduced by more than 2% huh? during this period. <laughs> Researchers believe that this decrease in body size is related to increase in global temperature. Why? Hmm. Because a smaller body size huh? allows the birds to cool off more quickly, as in lose body heat faster. It was also observed that during the same period, wingspans of birds increased by more than 1%. Researchers believe that migratory birds compensate for smaller body sizes by increasing their wingspans. This makes them better equipped to survive their long migratory journeys. Why are vitamins important? No, just vanilla ice cream is important. Oh, um <laughs> some. Vitamins are micronutrients which help perform important functions in our body. The most essential vitamins needed by our body are vitamin A, C, D, E, K, and a group of B-complex vitamins. Hmm. Vitamin A is required to make a pigment called <laughs> rhodopsin in our eyes. Rhodopsin ah. helps us to see in low light conditions. Thus, without vitamin A, rhodopsin won't be produced, causing night blindness. Vitamin C and E are antioxidants. Unstable oh. free radicals damage our huh? cell's DNA, leading to illness or cancer. Vitamin C and E neutralize the free radicals, preventing hmm. cell damage. Vitamin D helps ah. our body absorb calcium to build strong bones. Thus, lack of vitamin D can lead to a condition called rickets, which is characterized by weak, soft hmm. bones. During an injury, vitamin K helps the blood clot, thus preventing excessive bleeding. Hmm. Lastly, B-complex vitamins are essential for a healthy functioning of our brain and nervous system. Hmm. Why do people get ringworm? Because diamond rings are expensive. No. <laughs> ringworm is an infection not caused by worms, but instead by skin fungi called dermatophytes. Dermatophytes live in warm and moist places like soil, public showers, etc. When we come in direct contact with contaminated objects, 
dermatophytes uh -huh. attach to our skin. Ah. They feed on keratin, predominantly found in our dead skin cells, nails, hair, etc., and usually form red ring-like uh -huh. structures causing an infection called ringworm. Ringworm on our skin is called tinea corporis. Ringworm on our scalp is called tinea capitis. Ringworm huh? around the inner thighs, buttocks, etc. is known as jock itch, whereas ringworm on the foot is commonly called athlete's foot or tinea pedis. Now, ringworm can cause various problems. Firstly, it can make our skin scaly, flaky, tender, and itchy. Secondly, it can also develop a pus-filled bump called carry-on. Thirdly, <laughs> ringworm on scalp can cause hair fall. Hmm. 